Active protection systems are systems that are designed to detect and defeat incoming projectiles prior to them impacting on a friendly ground vehicle. Um, these primarily use two types of subsystems. The first is what's called soft kill subsystems. Uh, these are designed to uh, interfere with the guidance system of the missile or other type of projectile prior to it hitting the vehicle. Examples of this include infrared smoke and electro-optical countermeasures. Hard kill systems, on the other hand, use a kinetic interceptor. Examples of this are a charge on the vehicle exploding outwards to degrade the projectile in flight. Another example is a deployed kinetic interceptor. Example of this is a grenade launched from the vehicle to intercept the projectile at a further distance from the vehicle. In recent years, there's been a proliferation of anti-tank guided weapons, unguided shaped charge weapons, and other low capacity threats to ground vehicles. An example of this is in Syria and in eastern Ukraine, where militants have used these weapons to good effect against heavily armored vehicles. Active protection systems provide additional layers of survivability to these vehicles, whilst reducing the weight burden, allowing there to be less armor fitted to these vehicles. This in turn allows the vehicle to be more survivable because it's more mobile. Active protection systems are likely to become more modular, compact and integrated in coming years. For example, there may be different subsystems used on the same vehicle produced by different manufacturers. The challenge to manufacturers and end users today is integrating these disparate systems into a cohesive package which can be layered onto vehicles in response to different threats and different levels of uh, protection required. An example is the UK Defence Science and Technology Laboratory's ICRIS programme, which is seeking to layer soft and hard kill subsystems, introduce secondary functionality into these subsystems and standardise their use within NATO. The US Army is also seeking to develop both soft and hard kill active protection systems under two separate programmes. The first is the Modular Active Protection System programme, also known as MAPS. The second is the Expedited Non-Developmental Item programme. Russia is also developing a hard and soft kill active protection system, known as the Afghanic system. This is currently deployed on its new family of armoured vehicles, including the T-14 main battle tank. There are several operational challenges to the use of active protection systems. Firstly, there is concerns over collateral damage. As some of these hard kill subsystems can use kinetic interceptors, there's a chance that uh, surrounding personnel, friendly and civilian, could be injured or killed by the use of these weapons. However, this has to be balanced against the chance of these injuries or deaths occurring if the projectile had hit the vehicle without an APS being fitted. There are other operational challenges to the use of active protection systems, for example clutter, interfering with the ability to detect and classify incoming projectiles. There are also concerns over the increased electromagnetic signature when using APS, as well as the impacts of using several active protection systems together in a closed environment. There are also size and power constraint concerns.